This is the latest model of a uh, router from one of our service providers. It's a, um, it's a Wi-Fi router and it is a cable modem and it's a switch. So typically this would be installed in the structured media center as it has been in the past. Uh, one issue is with these metal structured media centers is that they tend to block the Wi-Fi signal a bit. Uh, you lose about 6 dB, which equates to a shorter range than you would have in a plastic enclosure. However, this is a metal enclosure that's already installed. It's an existing home, so we're going to stick it in there. One thing, though, these things are quite large, and when you put it inside of the enclosure, even without putting the shelf in yet, it's too big for the enclosure and it won't close. This has been a problem with these large routers, and we're going to solve that and the RF problem and some cooling problems, because this runs quite hot, by changing this door from the metal door that's currently here, simply changing it out to a trim ring and plastic door. To change this out to a plastic door, we're gonna first remove the metal door, removing the lower two screws first. One and two. I'm gonna keep these screws and we'll be reusing those. Loosen the top two screws about three-eighths of an inch. We'll be able to remove the door now and we'll set it aside. We're going to go ahead and install this plastic bracket for the router. We'll put it in its lowest position here on the side. We will now install some saddle ties so that we have something to tie the router in place. This will keep it from shifting around or falling out. Make sure it's going to sit right. That looks good. Everything looks like it's going to be fine. We'll run the Velcro around the saddle ties, set the router in place, and cinch it down. We'll go ahead and install the plastic trim ring. First we assemble it. We drop it over the screws that we left in place. Take our two screws that we'd removed previously, reinsert them, then snug them down. These don't need to be very tight. Just get them so they're holding it without rattling. Tighten the top two screws. What we've done is we've added about a half inch of depth with this trim ring. And this new door that we have has extended depth. It also has cooling and ventilation on it to keep the router cool. This will allow that router to now fit inside of the existing enclosure. <laughs> 